Hey guys, are you ready to check on our caterpillars today? They have grown even more. Here they are. Let's see. Can you see? Look at how, that's hard to see. Look at how big they are. There's one up at the top. They're just eating away. From those tiny little caterpillars that we got just over a week ago to these, it's crazy. And do you remember at the very beginning we looked at their food? I don't know if you can see right here. Look, they've eaten through that to the bottom. Isn't that crazy? Alright, let's measure them. That's fine. This one is pretty straight over here on this side. He's sort of straight. Let's see. We're gonna get a ruler. We're gonna measure in centimeters. And oh wow. Let's see, can you guys see that? He is if I move my thumbs you can see better. Four centimeters long can you see that right there four centimeters yesterday they were three and a half so they grew even more all right let's put that on our bar graph okay here we go so they went from here They've gotten bigger every day. Now they're four centimeters on April 2nd. They have grown a lot. So just about any day, they're going to get ready to go up to the top and make the next stage of their life cycle. All right, and that's the stage we're going to read about today. So this says, from chrysalis to butterfly. So remember we talked about them coming up to the top and they would kind of hang in that letter J shape? Okay, it says the caterpillar becomes a wrapped up package called a chrysalis. Inside the package, exciting changes are taking place. Fun fact, are you ready? A chrysalis protects a caterpillar as it changes into a butterfly. The chrysalis turns from a green to a clear color and presto changeo, the caterpillar becomes a butterfly. So we'll see our caterpillars climb up to the top and build their chrysalis or their sleeping bag. And then as the caterpillar changes, the chrysalis changes color too. And if you look really closely, you can kind of see some of the orange and black inside the chrysalis. We will be able to see that too, especially, let's see, right, whoops, right here, you can kind of see the the wings of the butterfly. So we'll be able to see that on our chrysalis too. And then guess what happens next? The butterfly breaks out of the chrysalis and it unfolds its wings. It's been stuffed up in there and it's all tight and cramped up. It unfolds its wings, which are still soft and damp. See, it almost looks clear after they get out of there. It's just like a little clear piece of skin almost. The brand new butterfly waits in the sun for its wings to dry and then flutter, flutter, flutters away. Monarchs flap their wings five to 12 times every second. A second's really fast. If you say one, 1,000, that's already a second, and they can flap their wings five to 12 times that fast. That's pretty crazy. Isn't it pretty? All right, so tomorrow we'll go over the final stages one more time, all of them, and maybe in the next few days, I bet we will see, oh my goodness, look. While we've been talking, oh! 
That one already went up to the top. Did you guys see him hanging up there? <gasps> there's another one heading up. Oh my goodness, there's another one heading up. Look. <gasps> oh gracious, guys. Maybe later tonight. I don't know. If they make their chrysalis, I will send a picture for you to see for sure. Okay. So cool. Can you see him guys up there at the top? All right. It looks like there's... There's one, there's another one coming up, there's a third one, and there was one that kind of fell back into the webs right here. Alright, I'll let you know, but any day we should start to see them make their crystals. That's so exciting! Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!